Hello everyone, I am Sakshi Kulshwish from Technofocus Solutions. We are Microsoft Silver Partners. Today I am going to discuss about the capability called the Self-Service Group Management which is offered in the Enterprise Mobility Suite by Microsoft which is now also available to the, its users with Azure AD Premium by Access Panel. So we see here is Jeff Thomas who is an Indoil Organizations employee and when he goes to his organization's access panel he logins with his credential with his organization's credentials which is jeff at the rate intoil.in we give a password to it so this is my access panel with uh, which is offered by microsoft you can see various tabs have been added to the access panel where users can now see and create and manage those groups through this single panel. So for creating a group you need to click on the groups tab and there is an option to create a group here. So while clicking on this it gives a pop up window where you need to write the name of the group which you want to create. So let the name of the group be sales. The description is optional so if I write uh, the description here it would be just an added advantage to its users. So let me write the description. This, this group consists of all the users who are integral part of the sales team. Now I need to define a group policy. If I want that this group requires an owner approval whenever a new member uh, is added to this group, I will select this policy else if I want any member can join this group so I need to select this policy which is this group is open to you join for all users. So since I want this group needs uh, to need an owner approval, I select this option and I click on create. My newly created group is being listed in the groups which are already there in the panel. So once I click on this, I can add members to this group by just clicking on the add member button here. So I can add member or I can either type in the name of the member or I can select the member that I want to add in this group. So let's suppose I type in John. I'll select this member. The selected members would be listed on the right side of this window. So once I click on add, members would be added to this group. So if I want to delete any particular member, I just need to click on the cross button which is there on the lower right corner of the tile and once I click on this it will ask me whether you want to delete this member from the group or not. So once I click on the yes it will delete that member from the group permanently. So for this demo I will just click on no because I don't want to delete this particular member from this group. This was all about how you can create a group and add members to that particular group. Now if you want to want to join a particular group, let's suppose I want to join a uh, IT group, I need to go to that particular group, click on the tile, let's since there are too many uh, groups, I can search that search a particular group from the search field. Yeah, here it is. If I want to join this group, I need to click on the join button, join, join group tile which is present on the in this particular group. So once I click on this, see tell me group, the request to join this group has been sent to the owner of this group. So I will click on this. Since the request to join this group has been sent to that particular owner of owner, let us log in with that particular owner. I will just sign out from here and log in with John which is another user in the end oil corporation.
go to the groups tab here you will see all the groups which have been created the request to join the particular group it is listed in the approvals tab tab you can see here jeff thomas who was another employee in the end oil corporation has sent a request to join the it group to this particular owner of the group so once i click on this i the owner can either approve or deny the permission which is associated with this particular group so i uh, since i need to approve this i just click on the approve and it will ask me for the confirmation yes i want to select uh, give this user uh, a rights to join this group so i uh, this user have been added to the it group this is how you can create group and manage those groups through my access portal my access panel which is now available for self service group management that was all for today thank you